These are the Beale ciphers, potentially the most valuable coded messages in the world. The Beale ciphers are a series of encrypted messages which seem to indicate the location of a buried treasure. The origin of the Beale ciphers is shrouded in mystery. The story begins here in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia. Between 1819 and 1821, Mr. Thomas Jefferson Beale and a group of friends allegedly bury two loads of treasure somewhere within a four-mile radius of the town Buford's Tavern. The quantity of treasure is enormous. 2,900 pounds of gold, 5,100 pounds of silver, and $13,000 worth of jewels. Beale carefully notes the secret location and sets about making sure that no one can find it. He enciphers his secret in three separate parts and gives it to the owner of a local hotel. Mr. Beale then completely disappears forever. The first coded message tells the location of the buried gold, silver, and jewels. The second, the quantity of the treasure. And the third, a list of names to whom the treasure rightfully belongs. By the 1860s, the ciphers are in the possession of a mysterious, unnamed author who sets about cracking them. He guesses the codes based on a printed text. But which text? He claims he tries every book he can lay his hands on before the Declaration of Independence gives him the clue he's looking for. He starts by numbering the words of the Declaration so that when becomes one, in becomes two, the three, course four, of five, human six, and so on. Then he painstakingly finds the words in the Declaration that match the numbers of the Beale ciphers and finally cracks the code. Unfortunately, this method only deciphers one of the three messages, the cipher telling the quantity of treasure. The other two, naming the shareholders and the treasure's location, remain unbroken almost 150 years later. My own conclusion is that it's some kind of a hoax. Somebody has made up a phony secret message to drive a million amateur code breakers crazy in the hope of finding this treasure somewhere down near Roanoke, Virginia.